So we are looking at some significant moments from the debate. This is easily one of the biggest moments in terms of beefs between two candidates. This is between Elizabeth Warren and Pete uh, Buttigieg. So there's a very interesting back and forth here that goes on. And it's because both sides uh, accurately hit each other on stuff. So uh, I want to just play this and let's check it out. So the mayor just recently had a fundraiser that was held in a wine cave full of crystals and served $900 a bottle wine. Um, think about who comes to that. He had promised that every fundraiser he would do would be open door, but this one was closed door. We made the decision many years ago that rich people in smoke-filled rooms would not pick the next president of the United States. <laughs> Billionaires in wine caves should not pick the next president of the United States. Mr. Mayor, your okay. response. You know, okay. according to Forbes magazine, I am the, literally the only person on this stage who's not a millionaire or a billionaire. So if this is important. This is the problem with issuing purity tests you cannot yourself pass. That doesn't make any sense, and that's the thing. Is First of all, Pete Booty Judge is the youngest one on the stage. I guarantee you at the same age Warren is, he's going to have way more money than Elizabeth Warren does. So he's way younger. He's just on his ascension to making a boatload of money, basically. So he's, just, he's way younger, and that's the reason why he's not at that point. And he's been a sort of elite posh dude his entire life. Um, but also, those two are not the same things. Getting donations from rich people uh, is not equated by being, you know, having a net. I think net worth of Elizabeth Warren's like seven million or something like that. Those two things are not equated. That's not how this purity test works. It's about your donors and the people who donate to you is what we're talking about here. We're not talking about personal net worth. So her net worth can be seven million um, and not take money from billionaires. That's still possible. So. That's not how that, that's not how any of that works. If I pledge, if I pledge never to be in the company of a progressive Democratic donor, I couldn't be up here. Senator, your net worth is 100 times mine. Now, supposing that you went home feeling the holiday spirit, I know this isn't likely, but stay with me, and decided to go on to PeteForAmerica.com and give the maximum allowable by law, $2,800. Would that pollute my campaign because it came from a wealthy person? No, I would be glad to have that support. It absolutely would pollute your campaign, especially when you're doing organized fundraisers with people who specifically have that amount to donate to. We need the support from everybody who is committed to helping hey. us defeat Donald Trump. And this is a losing way. This is a lose. So he's openly admitting, hey, I'm a corporate sellout. That's what he's saying right there. I'm not going to do your bidding. Uh, we need to defeat Donald Trump, so I need to become a corporate whore. That's basically what he's saying right there. Definitional, that's what he's saying. And it's total bullshit, and this is a huge reason why I dislike Mayor Pete. He's been courting superdelegates from the jump. They were having secret DNC meetings to try to concoct this douche um, against Bernie. He's very clearly the establishment handpicked candidate who has been courting superdelegates and has been courting these rich, wealthy donors doing closed-door fundraisers and these ridiculously expensive fundraisers. So trust me when I tell you, that is complete hogwash and complete bullshit. And again, the audience is full of uh, rich dudes uh, who go to his fundraisers. They have to be like $10,000 seats. Otherwise, why would they be talking to We would. We would like to bring in everyone, but obviously, Senator Warren, I'd like to give you a chance to respond. I do not sell access to my time. I don't do call time Hold with millionaires second. and billionaires. Sorry, as of I when, don't Senator? Meet, I don't meet behind closed doors with big dollar donors. And look, I've taken one that ought to be an easy step for everyone here. I've said to anyone who wants to donate to me, if you want to donate to me, that's uh -oh. fine. But don't come around later expecting to be named ambassador. Because that's what goes on in these high dollar fundraisers. So it looks like this clip, uh, it looks like this clip actually cuts it out. But I'll just tell you what, what he ends up, he ends up bringing up the fund transfers and the fundraisers that she did as senator. So if you guys don't know, as senator of the United, as running, you know, candidate for Senate, uh, she did the same fundraisers that Joe Biden did. Remember, I did a story on one of Joe Biden's 
uh, basically the people who was funding him at those fundraisers actually came out and was like, wow, why is Warren saying this? I did this for her. So uh, she was doing the same thing. And so that's the only area where Pete has some merit. Not only that, he actually completely cornered her because remember how I told you guys, also the story on this, she transferred funds from her Senate campaign, which was concocted of corporate donations, to her um, to her campaign, okay? So what you're talking about in that situation is you have taken some corporate money because the money where that was synthesized from was from rich people. And so Pete did actually correct her there for sure. And that's where a good zone for Bernie to come in is. And I think he, end up, uh, he ends up coming in. I'm not sure if that uh, clip of him going after Biden and Bernie came after that. I don't remember. But <laughs> this is why you vote Bernie and not Warren and not Pete. Because, man, Pete got her at the end. The first part of his shit was, you know, a total hogwash. But the portion where he mentions that Warren did do those previously, just ending it until the run, he's not wrong about that. And he's actually right. And that's why Warren is a flawed candidate. And you want to know why they're beefing? I believe that Warren is under the impression that Pete is taking her support. That's what I believe it is. And so I think that they're kind of like, you know, they're kind of fighting because... Um, I think, you know, Warren has definitely ticked down. I mean, she was at 27 points at one point. She's now at 14. So that's like a 13-point drop that you're looking at there. And uh, Mayor Pete went up like five or six points or four at this point. So, uh, you know, I think she's really trying to fight her for that. She's really trying to fight him for those votes. But definitely one of the more interesting, one of the most interesting, possibly top three moments of the debate just because, you know, there was some serious beef, some substantive beef.